Hey, thank you for your comments in the group. So, let's see how all these tricks work. Ok, the first question was about the crop orientation trick that allows me to switch the crop orientation with a single shortcut, like this. In the first video, I have mentioned that I am using this trick on Mac because it requires a Capture One script, and unfortunately, currently Capture One scripts are available on Mac OS only. So basically, I just run a script that flips the crop tool values, like this. In this video, I'm using a script created by Jim Johnson, which you can find in my guide to capture one scripts at alexonra.com scripts. There, you will learn how to create your first script, where to find free scripts, and how to write capture one scripts using ChatGPT. Now, you might have a question, how do I set a custom shortcut for the script? The thing is that Mac OS allows you to set custom shortcuts for any top menu items, such as scripts. So, all you need to do is to open keyboard settings, go to App Shortcuts, and here you need to create a new custom shortcut with direct path to your script in the Capture One's top menu. My second question was about a style that affects everything except the main image subject and highlights. As you can easily guess, I have used the AI background mask to mask everything except the main image subject. The tricky part here is how to remove the highlights from this mask. So, I have used LumaRange to mask out highlights from all the AI background masks, because starting from the Capture One 16.3.4 update, we can now include the Luma range settings in our styles. That allows us to create such smart styles as this one. The third question was about setting ratings and color tags simultaneously. The solution here is actually pretty simple. I have just created several styles that contain only ratings and color tags. So, for instance, this style contains 5-star rating and green color tag, and this one contains 3-star rating and yellow color tag, and the reset style contains 0 rating and the non-color tag setting. Then, I have assigned custom shortcuts for every style, and thus I can quickly set ratings and color tags simultaneously. Next, the fourth question was about the desaturation without using the saturation sliders or applying the black and white tool. So, here is how it works. First, we need to create a new filled layer, like this, and now we need to somehow invert all our colors. So, for this, I'm going to click the plus icon in the Advanced Color Editor tool, and I'm going to set the Hue slider to minus 30. And as you can see, we have just shifted the hue of all the colors on our image, but we need to invert them completely. So, for this, I need to repeat this action six times. So, three, four, five, six. So, now we have completely inverted all our colors on this image, and now if I set the opacity of this layer to 50, I will get a black and white image. And moreover, you can adjust the desaturation impact by adjusting the opacity slider. Also, you can save these adjustments as a style and quickly apply to any image. The most curious feature of this trick is that it desaturates all colors a bit differently. Try to experiment with this trick and you will notice this. That's why it's pretty interesting color correction technique when you need a bit unusual color grading. 
By the way, if you are interested in working with color, you can watch my full lesson Color Grading in Capture One, free of charge, at alexonra.com expert. In this tutorial, you will learn how to prepare your images for color grading and apply professional color correction techniques in Capture One. Now, the final question. It was about how to skip copying layers when you copy and apply adjustments. For this, we need to turn off the auto selection of adjusted corrections in the adjustments clipboard. So go to auto select, choose none, and now you need to manually uncheck layers and check all the adjustments that you would like to copy and apply. So now let's copy adjustments and as you can see, I am applying all the adjustments except layers and this is really convenient when you need to skip copying layers. So, I hope you enjoyed these tricks and if you would like to receive more Capture One tutorials like these on a regular basis, just subscribe to my newsletter at alexandra.com free and also you will immediately get 65 styles for Capture One free of charge.